about 50 years ago, there was a man, and we know him as Malcolm X Shabazz. <clears throat> and later he would change his name to El Haj Malik Shabazz, something like that. I, I, I don't really keep up with his Muslim name, but he changed his name to Shabazz, Malcolm Shabazz. Prior to this, we just knew him as Malcolm X. And so during numerous press conferences or interviews, he would always be asked, what is your name? And they would bring up Malcolm Little. And he said, no, that's my slave name. What does the X stand for, sir? The X stands for the unknown because I don't know my name. Malcolm Little is a name that was forced upon my family by slave owners. So in the nation of Islam, we take the X because we really don't know our name. But when God comes, God will give us our rightful name. And it and in in ooh, tongue tie. And in Islam, it would be a Arabic name, one of the attributes of Allah. So many Muslims have they carry the name Shabazz or Muhammad or Kareem because I'm not a slave. That's my slave name. Last year, we were going back and forth and people wanted to try to make mockery of me and slander my, my name. And so they brought before the public something I'm not ashamed of, but they wanted people to know my slave name. This is for you, Lauren L. Ray. Lauren L. Ray is my birth name Lauren L. Ray is my slave name so in 2007 cause I certainly don't want the white man's slave name I went to court and according to the laws of this nation I changed my name from Lauren L. Ray in 2007 to what we know of now as Talik Ibn Ra. I feel so much better now. I don't have the white man's slave name no more. Also, it is not an Islamic name. Just a name I created from out of the Arabic language, but it is not Islamic. And they will tell you this. It sounds like it's Arabic. It sounds like it's Islamic name, but it's not. If you think it's butter, but it's not, it's Shafan. <laughs> so on Facebook and on YouTube, and on social media, 
whether we legally change our name or we just make up some kind of name for ourselves because I don't want to be the white man's slave. You have so many people, they have these comedic names. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I'm going to take a name from my ancestors. I'm a, a, a Hebrew Israelite name. I'm a Muslim. I'm going to take a one of Allah's attributes. I'm going to, I just, look, I just got to get out of the white man's name. What is a name? A name describes something. So, if I show you a picture of an orange, the name orange describes a fruit. So when you say, I'm going to get me an orange, and then you come back with an apple, somebody would automatically say, hey, that's not, that's not an orange. Because when you say, I'm going to get an orange, you describe, the name describes a fruit. So we adorn ourselves with these names, comedic names, Israelite names, Muslim names, African names. We put this on us. It's supposed to describe us. But it's not us. We are mislabeled. It does not describe who we are. The orange describes the fruit and what it is. We take on these comedic names and Muslim names and Israeli names or all the African names or whatever, and we are mislabeled. It's like when you open a can of peas and there's corn in the can. It's mislabeled. We are mislabeled people. We're not these things. And what's so bad, we don't want the white man's name and we take on these names that mean God and king and queen and beautiful. And these names describe a beautiful person. A lot of times. The attributes, wonderful definitions, labels. We change our name, but we don't change. We are still the N-word. We are still who and what we was. We don't change. Now the thing about Malcolm X, he really was trying to make a change, change himself. He went from a criminal striving to be righteous. But so many of us, and you know, you take on a label, you take on a new name, but you don't become new. So many people with these brand new names land in prison. Criminals, you, you're liars, and you, you're disgusting, you're vulgar, and you're nasty. You're nothing like the new name that you put upon yourself. So, what was the benefit? What was the purpose of changing your name to some Israelite name, some comedic name? I'm going to return. You're returning, but you're still the same person. It reminds you in religion when we go 
get baptized. They take your head and dunk you in the holy water. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, brush, in the name of the Holy Ghost, brush, there you go. All that dunking, all that water, you still the same. You have been baptized with the holy water. You went through this ritual and you are the same person you was before they dunked you in the water. So it defeats the purpose of being baptized if you're not going to change. And then we take on these new names. I'm Kemetic. I'm an Israelite. I'm a black Muslim. I'm an African. I'm a Native American. I'm Aboriginal. I'm taking on an Aboriginal name. You don't live up to the name. And you're taking on a name. You really don't know what it means. You did not create the name. So basically all we done was go from one slave plantation to another. We went from Master John. We was Toby on Master John slave plantation. Now we're going over to Master Sam. He don't like the name Toby. Now your name is Jeremiah. You don't name yourself. We laugh at ghetto names. But a ghetto name is an attempt by somebody who is free to give themselves my definition, my label, my description, because I'm free. This is my creation. So Talik Ibn Ra is derived from the Arabic language, but it's me, my description. There's no Arab can tell me who and what I am with my name. Because it don't come from them. But I still have the same problem. What's the sense of changing or getting out from under a slave name? And you steal the trash. You steal the, the, the sinful, vulgar, nasty person. When you was labeled under... The slave master name. And then we put on these costumes. You dress like a, a Arab. Or you dress like an Egyptian. Or you try to dress like some kind of ancient Hebrew Israelite. You can dress a pig. Put a tuxedo on a pig. It's still a pig. It don't change. So. It makes no difference. You can change your name to a Muslim name and you can call yourself Bobo Baba Ashalakan Him Hakatim Shugala. You can do all that. You are still an American Negro and that's your history and that's who the hell you are. You can put a tuxedo on a pig. You can put a dog, a seal, or elephant. You can put them in human clothes. They are still a dog, a cat, whatever the hell they are. Same thing goes for you. So we got a bunch of fakes and fraud people running around here trying to be something they are not. Mislabeled. Because you're not those things. So, don't call me by my slave name. But you're still a slave. You're still in the same condition. You have not. You have a new name, but you have not changed. It defeats the purpose of being or trying to make yourself new.